Now I'm gonna do a series of all of my collections and I have a few. Walking the road, trailer full, sailor in. Man, trailer full, sailor in. Ain't got no cigarettes, but trailer full, sailor in. with Vintage Uprising Texas. Welcome to my channel. And as I've been saying for a long, long time now, a long time, that I was gonna start my collection video. And you're always hearing me say, in your window, in your window. Well, here is my window. I will give you a closer look later, but you gotta look at me first. Anyways, I don't know a lot about this. I started collecting it because I like it. My motto is, I buy what I like, I like what I buy, okay? But I thought I should know something if I'm gonna do this video, right? Well, what I can remember that I read, um, it, the enamel brooches, not even brooches, they didn't call them brooches back then. They called them, um, they called them enamel lapels enamel and lapel. So these were started like in uh, 3,800 years ago. I remember that number with the Egyptians. Now they started the process of it basically. They did not technically make the brooches or the pins or the lapels, whatever you call them. But it was actually the Chinese that first designed and manufactured the enamel and lapel pins back in 12 to 1300s, way back then. The Chinese are the ones that actually improve the enameling technique in an enamel wearer. So since then, the enamel pins have been worn by soldiers during battle. The trend has thought to be started during uh, the Revolution War and World War I. It also became popular with politicians and their supporters uh, for during rallies and events. So the enamel flower brooches, let me tell you a little bit about that. They came in style back in the 50s, maybe late 50s, I'm not sure about that, but became very popular in the 60s, you know, like the flower power and everything. <laughs> But anyways, that leads me to my collection of the flower power in your window uh, enamel brooches. But they are great for accessorizing, uh, for your shirt, your even your jeans, your jean jackets, your hats. But I like them in my window. It makes me happy. Now, if you're a collector of these type of pins, flower pins, it's got to make you happy, does it not? Now, you might see a little bit of a fishies on either side, but that will be another collection series. So, I'm going to take you closer to my brooches so y'all can all see what's in my window. They're all in my window, and I'm going to show you, uh, this is daylight, and I'm also going to show you a nighttime, you know, picture as well. So, let me get closer to my brooches. Let you see all the flowers in my window. A garden that never is going to die. <laughs> These are the longest lasting flowers I have kept. Let's switch them around. Okay, here we have it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six shelves. Now, David put these, I have a kind of a, a three inch deep shelf window and um david put me some shelves on the inside when i decided to do this now a shout out to meg pie ethel on instagram because she does a, a she has a shelf that she switches out different things different seasons and i just happened to see a shelf with 
these flowers and the flower frogs. And that's where I got the idea to put them in my window. She don't keep them up all the time. I do believe she even has them around her mirror, which I'll show you pictures um, here in a minute. But let me show you my flowers. I have all kinds of different metal flower frogs as well. See, that one's a little boat. And I won't be able to tell you any maker model on these. Some might, might, might have a maker on there, but I don't know. Now, some of them aren't in the best of shape. See, some are missing their uh, enamel, but I don't care because I love them. This one looks like a sea creature. And here, I got a little baby frog. I have room for another flower. But I have all kinds. I try to keep, this looks like it's out of place or something. I even try to do a little uh, collection of some that are alike. This one, was this have a name? There we go. There's a name. I bought this little set. I have two sets like that one. And I kept them on their little paper tags. Now be looking, tell me which one your favorite is. <laughs> this is fun. I got this at an antique store and this is different types of style. They're not necessarily the enamel ones, um, but they have a little bit of different style to them. Cause look, that one has a jewel in it, but I just loved them in the pot. So I got that from a window and here is the other little paper tag that I got. Um, it's really hard to remember what colors I already have. I don't care. I thought about putting color coordinated together, you know, all the reds, all the blues, all the greens, but then hmm, I could probably do that sometime, but to rearrange it, to do something different. I even have some of these little plastic frogs. They're not as good, but they work well with the fatter ones. So you see a lot of them have stems. They work better in the frogs. Well, these without the stem also work really well, but I, I just love it looking like it is popping from the ground or something, you know, like your gardens would. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of rambling, rambling trying to think of things to say <laughs> because you know words are hard but look at all the pretty flowers now you notice the greenery growing behind my window here look at this one I don't know if the lighting's very good because it's getting dark oh look there's a caterpillar <laughs> he's coming for my flowers y'all look at this okay. one now sometimes you have to play with them to make them stay they don't always stay very well. I may have to do this at night so the light's not shining back in. But look at my little rose garden here. I just love that one. I put all the little rose ones, the single little small roses together in this big flower frog. And again, I have a few, few of that have jewels in there like this. And here is the last row. I hope it ain't too dusty. This one's really pretty. And I can't tell you, I can't remember who got me what. I have, some of these are being gifted to me. And I can't honestly remember. I should have tagged them as I got them. Actually, I can. I can go back to my Instagram and find who gave me what. For example... I have this one now. This one was given to me from my friend, Miss Martha at Vintage Conversation. Um, I picked up the flower frog from somewhere and now I need to scoochy scoochy some of these over to find a new spot for this. And it's probably gonna be right here on this row cause they look like there's room to scooch. But you may ask, do they glow? Looky, looky, some do. 
This would be really cool if I set up a black light here for the night time. My night light to go to the bathroom. I wanted to show you my smallest brooches. These are, this one's just under two inches and this one's a tad over two inches. But those are my smallest brooches I have. And here is my largest brooch that I have. It's about just over four inches across. And I really like this one. The purple and the orange on the inside, just fabulous. Okay, so that's my video, my first video of uh, In My Window. In My Window, what's in my window, y'all? Hey, if you can tell me how many flowers are here, I'll send you a flower. So tell me how many flowers are in my window. Okay, that's the beginning of my collection series that I'm starting. Uh, I'll probably do a, like once a month, I'm probably gonna do it because I'm not gonna make no definites. It's gonna happen when I get them done because you saw how long this one took already. So anyways, um, Hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and y'all come back and join me and be watching for all of my collections coming here soon. Bye for now. King of the road, trailer for sailor rent. Man, trailer for sailor rent. Ain't got no cigarettes, but.